Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Louisa. I'm out here under my pergola again. I like to come out here and look at my beads in the sunlight, in the natural light, because I feel like um, it just helps me coordinate the colors better when I'm able to see what they actually look like outside. And plus I always get inspiration from nature. So I love coming out here and looking at my plants. And my pergola is actually a work in progress. I'm going to be hanging a beautiful wind spinner, the one that you saw me pull out of the box, plus another one that's on its way. And once I get them hung, I would like to show you what they look like. I love this space out here. It's like my outdoor living room. I have my seating, I have my beautiful plants, my decor, and I also have some beautiful lighting that I'm gonna show you when it turns dark, I'll see if I can come out here and film it. I'm not sure if it'll, um, if there'll be enough lighting, but um, I'll, I'll certainly try to do that. And um, yeah, I'm trying to make this a livable space because I come out here a lot and it's just nice to be able to sit out here in the shade and cool off and enjoy nature. So for the longest time um, when I was working full time, which was not too long ago, I had a huge vitamin D deficiency and no matter how many supplements I took, I even took prescription vitamin D, it didn't seem to help. So I told myself when I retired that I would come out and sit in the sun for a few minutes every day to try to build my vitamin D levels and then um, I can't tolerate the heat very much so what I do is I sit outside for a couple of minutes and then I come underneath my pergola to cool off and that seems to work just fine. So anyway guys, uh, I just love it out here. This is just a very beautiful, serene, peaceful space for me and um, I just, I love coming out here and looking at nature and uh, getting inspiration for new ideas for jewelry. And not just that, I just come out here and think about life in general, about what direction I want to take now that I'm retired. You know, I have my YouTube channel, I have my Etsy store. Um, both of those things are very time consuming and I'm still, you know, trying to build them up, trying to get them going, take, get them off the ground. I'm not working as much on the Etsy store anymore because I feel like I'm spending a lot of time uh, making videos, which I really, really enjoy and I love talking to you guys. Um, but both, both of those activities are very time consuming, believe it or not, especially the video editing. That's the part that's really, really time consuming. For those of you who do it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort. And that's why I get so upset when I get thumbs down, guys. You know, it's, you know, if, unless you do this kind of uh, work, you really have no idea what goes into it. So whenever you go visit somebody's channel, be kind, be generous, give them a thumbs up because YouTube creators put a lot of effort and energy into making videos and there's no money in it, guys, okay? Um, I haven't monetized my channel. I don't know if I will or not, but even if I do, um, I'm not going to get that much from it. So I do this because I love to do this and when I create pieces a lot of times I create pieces Using beads that I may not necessarily purchase. Okay, so for instance bargain bee box Sometimes they give you beads that are not that great and so I do the best I can and uh, you know with what I have and um, you know, you may approve or disapprove, but I still do the best I can and that's all I can do. So every YouTube creator who does bead subscriptions and they make jewelry from them, I give them tons of credit because it's not easy, okay? It's not easy to be given a, a set of beads and for them to sit down and come up with something, okay? That's very, very challenging. And then to put it on YouTube um, is very challenging and very stressful as well. So. Uh, the next time you watch somebody's um, finished uh, joy video, just keep in mind all the effort and energy that went into putting those pieces together and putting the videos together and how challenging that is. And you may not like the box for that particular month, but just because you don't like the box, you should not give that creator a thumbs down, okay? Because that creator did the best she could with what she had. And so whenever I watch anybody's videos, that's what I do. I try to give them a thumbs up. I try to give them some love to show them how much I appreciate their efforts, how much I appreciate them putting it on a video. Um, 
And you know something, what I find really interesting is that I will make a piece that does really well on say Instagram or Facebook um, that I didn't think would do well, that I personally didn't think was great. Uh, and then I'll make another piece that I think is awesome. I'll put it on social media and it doesn't get much attention at all. It's just really, really funny how that happens. But you know, I appreciate whatever attention I can get. That's how I look at it, whether it's negative or positive. I appreciate the fact that people are watching my videos. Um, to me, it's very humbling and um, you know, I'm very, very grateful. I guess the video that really surprised me was the one where I showed a little bit of dancing and I got so much negativity. Well, not a lot, but I got negativity from that and I don't know why because, you know, my channel, I, I, I don't know if I want it to be strictly about jewelry, this, which is why I'm out here under my pergola talking to you guys. I want it to be about my life in general, just, you know, what I do, my creativity, and part of my creativity is dancing. I love to dance. And so I got a little bit of negativity when I put that video out for some reason. Um, I know a lot of you just want the jewelry tutorials and I get that, I understand that. So from now on, I'm going to put some um, time stamps on my videos so people can go, go to, uh, directly to the tutorial piece so they can skip everything else if they don't want to watch it. It's a good thing to do. I think it's a courteous thing to do because I know that a lot of you don't want to see beautiful scenery or watch me dancing. I get that. I totally get that. Um, but yeah, that's another one that really surprised me. I put a couple of videos out um, earlier this year with beautiful scenery and music and I got negativity with those videos as well. Uh, so I didn't quite understand that either because I thought they were very tastefully done and very beautiful and serene and everything else. But um, anyway, guys, you know, I, I honestly, I do appreciate your attention. I appreciate that you're here watching me no matter what because I enjoy doing this and I enjoy connecting with you and I'm going to keep doing it as long as I can. And uh, like I said before, whatever attention I get, I really, truly appreciate it. So with all of that being said, are you looking forward to the bargain bead box for July? I certainly am. I cannot wait. Uh, I am working on this beautiful uh, Serenity Shore mix from Softflex and uh, here's a sneak peek. <laughs> I'm not done with it yet. Um, it's a work in progress. Uh, you know, I'm very critical of myself. So when I make pieces, a lot of times I undo them and I redo them because I'm not very happy with them. But uh, this one I think is okay. I'm still working on it. But I'm really looking forward to July's box of the Bargain Bee box. So as soon as I get that, I'm going to start working on it and hopefully I can come up with some nice pieces to show you. That was my pet rabbit. No, he is a <laughs> He's a rabbit who lives in my backyard and he's been living there for over a year now. I would like to name him. So if you guys can, can come up with a name, I would love that. But I think he lives under my shed. I have a shed in the corner and I think he lives there. And he comes out and visits from time to time. He's not afraid of us. And he comes out and just hangs out. Very, very cute. Discovered him last year. He was just a little bunny last year. Tiny little thing, very, very adorable. And he was all by himself and he would just hang out on the, on the lawn and just, you know, be there for a while. I tried feeding him a couple of times and of course he didn't like any of the food that I tried to give him. I tried to give him carrots and lettuce and those kinds of things, but no, he wasn't interested. So um, anyway, I just think he's adorable. Anyway guys, again, thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you again and have a great day. Bye.